Oh, Gura Gura, you're so cute. Oh, Gura Gura. Hey, hey! Oh, hi, grey hoodie guy. How are you? So, yeah, yeah, mate. I, I read the title of this video and you're saying you got in, like, you, your life changed due to a game about clicking circles. Yeah, I, I heard that title is correct. I did. I did get, uh, you know, it taught me some life lessons, what can I say? A game about clicking circles to weeb music changed your life, did it? Well, would you, would you like to know why? Why? They're life changing? Y yeah, I would actually like an explanation, yeah, yes please, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Alright. Okay then, well then, let me get on with my video. So let, let me talk about it then. Why was it life changing and what has Osu taught me? Hello everyone, hello governor. Everyone seems to love it when I say hello governor, so I'm gonna say it. Hello governor. So yeah, you read the title right. I genuinely do believe that Osu has actually uh, changed my view on life a little bit. It's taught me two very valuable life lessons. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight into it. You've got that beautiful gameplay of uh, today's stream, because I'm going to do the stream today. Um, but yeah, it, I'll go on to how I found Osu first. Uh, I'll probably put like a timestamp or something on when you can get to the, the two life lessons it taught me about a game, literally about clicking circles. Uh, it, it's, it's weird, it's odd, it might sound not believable, uh, but it's two very important life lessons that have really, you know, taught me a lot. So I found Osu the same way about 90% of people find out about Osu. And that's while being in a Discord call, someone goes, yo, I found this game, you want to play it? And I remember my old mate, um, he was like, he was like, look, it is, like, this was when anime wasn't really that cool. He was, uh, I wasn't even a weeb. He went, uh, he went, look, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit for the weirdos, you know, anime related. I know you don't like that kind of stuff, but can you play with me? Because I don't have anyone to play with. I remember that was why he wanted me to play it. And I was like, you know what? Why not? So I played with him. I was like, oh, this is actually quite difficult. Uh, and he, he showed me a video of the legends who can play. And I was like, oh my God, that's sick. So after an entire week of playing, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped the game. I stopped playing it. And you can actually see it on my profile. I stopped playing the game for a long time. Uh, until I played Undertale and I loved the music in Undertale and I thought, hmm, how can I enjoy the music in Undertale uh, without just sitting there? And so forth became the becomings of me playing Osu a ton and as a hobby, kind of. I don't know, do I class it as a hobby? It's just a game I play, okay? Just, yeah. So I played the Undertale maps and then I got into the multiplayer and that's where I started to find these Anime maps and anime's OPs, and I can't remember which OP was the first, but I remember there was just anime songs and OPs I loved to bits, and I was like, I kind of feel like I have to watch the show, so I watched the show. I know that um, Super Driver was the one that made me watch uh, uh, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. I do know that, that's for certain. Uh, I still love that map to this day, such a good map. Um... But yeah, after after that, so that that was it. I started watching anime, and that's how I got into anime. Uh, and it's kind of snowballed from there. Um, and that's why I play Osu now for the for the weeb stuff. I know it's weird. I became a weeb because of Osu. I know it's crazy. Usually, it's the opposite way round. Usually, weebs play Osu because they're weeb. But I became a weeb because of Osu. Um, so now we can go on to the two life lessons and i don't think this is gonna be a long video but i'll go into them um when i was a bit younger back in high school i believe this would have been the last year of high school i was kind of a sort of a hot shot uh i wasn't a popular kid by any means i was bullied to hell and an outcast but i used to have the mindset of oh i can do anything i'm a quick learner i can do anything and i remember um, i wanted to learn piano and i remember we had an electric piano nothing nothing that great but i remember I, I was into Legend of Zelda at the time, and I was like, oh, I'll play Breath of the Wild song. I can learn that in a day. And it was a really complicated piece, and I really thought I could do it. And I was like, okay, le let's let's do that then. So I was sat down at the piano, gave it five minutes, and gave up and went, okay, I can't play piano. That's that. 
whatever, I won't carry on and try. And that's the kind of mindset I had for a lot of things. If, if it was guitar, it would be five minutes, I can't do it, I can't do it at all. Because I had the mindset of, oh, I can learn that really quickly and be pro at any time. I also got to the point where I realised I was getting better than most players. Uh, I say most players, as in like a lot of players. Um, without really realising it. And I'd been playing the game for years at this point. Uh, and I kind of realised that with practice and dedication, you become good at something. Even if you don't feel like you will get better... Even if you don't think you're improving, if you just keep at it and keep practicing, you will get better at it. And I realised this only last year, really. Um, and if I hadn't learned that lesson of, you know, if you practice and dedicate yourself to something, you will get better. I would not be making music. I would not be playing the guitar. I would not be about to learn piano again. And it's all because of Osu that I got taught that lesson of you need to practice and you need to dedicate yourself to practice to get good at something. And I know that sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? Going, yeah, I could have told you that a million times, Titchy. I, you know, practice. But it's, it's, it's weird that how I had to figure that out for myself for those words to really hit home and have meaning. And they have now. And I can now say that I have understood, I understand now that with practice and dedication uh i can do anything i want and that's how i'm able like i said before like how i'm able to learn guitar now about to start learning piano again and make music that i'm able to keep at it because i just remind myself of hey when you played osu you didn't think you'd be as good as these people but hey look at where you are dude if you can get good at that circle clicking game which you didn't think you'd get good at Dude, you can get good at this if you just keep at it. And that also brings me on to my last sort of realisation. Uh, and I came up with a quote. Which I'm super proud of my quote that I made. And the quote is, as I like to tell people this now, is don't focus on how good you are at something, but focus on how much you're enjoying doing it. Because I enjoyed playing Osu for Osu, for clicking the for clicking the circles and playing along to music. That's why I played the game. I didn't play the game for skill. And I still don't to this day. There was, Okay, right, there was a blip this year where me, me and a certain moderator on my channel, Kepsi, got into a bit of a, a dispute and we kind of went on a rivalry. But before that and now, I now play the game for fun. And I play it because I enjoy it. I don't care how good I am at the game. And it's the same with guitar. I don't care how good I am at guitar. I just play it because I enjoy it. And because I'm just doing it because I enjoy it, I find myself improving it. And I, I hope this video can hit some ho hit home a little bit for some people and give that them the push. And maybe just tell people from my experience, someone who thought they knew what those words meant but clearly did not realize what those words meant in the slightest so that's what i hope that you guys can take away from this video with anything give yourself time practice it extremely hard and you will get better but also while doing that focus on how much you're enjoying it and not how good you are at it it's good to keep progress. I kept a log of my guitar and I still do. I like to look back at past streams on Osu and see how far I've come. But I hope that this video will have done something for you guys. And I really hope that even though it's not the norm of the video, you know, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra, guys.